السلام علیکم دا نیکسٹ پوائنٹ کرنٹ ان سیمی کنڈکٹر آف چیپٹر ون واٹ ہی سی ان دس پوائنٹ ہی ٹیلز اس ڈیٹ دا سلیکان سیمی کنڈکٹر بیکم انسولیٹر ایٹ زیرو کا ایل ون واٹ ہیپن ایٹ زیرو کا ایل ون دا بیلنس الیکٹران آر جم بیک ٹو دا بیلنس بینڈس اینڈ دا کنڈکشن بینڈ از کمپلیٹلی ایم ٹی ود آؤٹ نو بیلنس الیکٹران and valence band is completely filled with valence electrons and semiconductor act as a insulator and uh, next point is conduction electrons and holes in pure silicon crystal the electron get energy and uh, become free electron at room temperature because at room temperature he has sufficient amount of energy to jump to this gap and become free electrons this is also show the same diagrams what happen in the silicon crystals and next he mentioned about the hole when the electron jump from valence band to the conduction band the hole created in the valence band how many electrons jump from the valence band to the conduction band the same holes is created which act as a positive charge and this is the electron hole pair this showed also in this paragraph and in the crystal this is the normal process and uh, there is a no as a whole charge on the silicon crystals because there is total number of electron and proton are always same electron also move in from one bond to the other bond and randomly this action will be continuous next he mentioned about the electron and hole current when we applied a pure silicon crystal to the voltage we applied a voltage to the pure silicon crystal what happened the electron move from negative to positive terminal while the hole move from positive to negative and when electron move to the from negative to positive we say that these electron current and hole move in opposite direction and we show that this is the hole current while hole move in the valence band and electron move in the conduction band and both act as a current pass through the material he gave the example of uh, copper what happen in the copper the outermost shell of the copper is only one electron and which become free electron so this electron act as a electron current and there is no hole in the valence band because in copper the valence band and conduction band are overlap as in previous i show you this is the copper atom diagram which uh, in which the valence electron jump easily to the conduction band and uh, become free electrons as in conductor material the valence band and conduction band are overlap if uh, you read previous like that this in there the conduction band and valence band are overlap so there is no energy need or very small amount of energy need to jump from valence band to the conduction band a uh, very very small he move freely from valence band to the conduction band so there is only one one electrons from valence band to the 
connection band and act as a electron current okay we back to the our topic there is it and no hole current in this metal or elements this diagram show us what happen when we applied the voltage across a silicon crystal the electron move from one element one atom to the other atom and jump from and hole move in opposite directions and this uh, movement of electron is called electron current and these movement of hole is called the hole current next point is n type p type semiconductor in this uh, point first we know about the doping what is doping doping is a process when uh, pure semiconductor or silicon crystal add some impurity when we add the impurity of uh, pentavalent elements it become n type semiconductor and pentavalent elements are arsenic phosphorus bismuth antimony what happened when we added the pentavalent element have five electron its outermost shell or valence band four of uh, electron makes the covalent bond with the four silicon atoms while the fifth electron act as a free electron and causes the electron current there the majority carrier are electron and minority carriers are holes how to make the p type semiconductor when trivalent impurity or trivalent elements are added to the pure silicon crystals and trivalent elements uh, are boron indium gallium what happen when uh, these are added the outermost shell have uh, only 3 electrons and they make the covalent bond with the 3 silicon crystal while the fourth silicon crystal have a hole like that and there is the majority carrier is hole and minority carrier is electrons therefore this atom become causes the hole current and uh, p type material is called acceptor atom and n type material is called donor atom because he donated the electron he accept the electron. next point is uh, pn junction how to make the pn junction in pn junction when we take a piece of some pure silicon crystal and dope from one side to the p region or p type semiconductor and other side is the n type semiconductor what happen a junction is formed between these two types and this show the region the p region has a hole may as many holes while the n region has a many electrons so the electron move from this junction and holes move from this junction and recombine together and makes the barrier or sh show in this diagram and this is also called the depletion region how this uh, depletion region form i explain everything the n region loses the electron form and diffuses to the junction and he becomes and act as a potential barrier that he do not move from one junction to the other next point is energy diagram of pn junction in depression region i show you this is happen in the 
be injunctions. Diagram shows us that the majority charge carrier in N type semiconductor is electron, while the majority charge carrier in P type semiconductor is hole. Electron mostly in wind conduction bands and holes in minority carrier in valence band in n type region or n type semiconductors what happen in this junction when uh, we applied a small amount of energy to n region the electron jump from valence band to the conduction band therefore he has lower state or this diagram show the down state of this uh, n region and in p region we give a high amount of energy to lose its electron or jump its electron from valence band to the conduction band so it have upper state as compared to the n region the valence band is a high state upper state as compared to when the when p junction is formed this will be happening the electron move from conduction band to this nearly completely empty conduction band of the p region and hole move the valence band are completely empty of the valence band region and there one side electrons and other side holes recombine and makes the depression region thank you